welcome to Global Foundry's Fab 8 here in Malta, New York. And what is it that you guys are making here? Roughly, we put out about a million chips a day. 全球第三大晶圆代工厂，也是唯一挤进前五强的美国厂。格罗方德两间工厂位在纽约州，另外一间厂区位在佛蒙特。在美国大推晶片法案吸引海外大厂进驻的时机点上，格罗方德显得格外受到瞩目。Do you have any aspirations to catch TSMC ever in your future? In the markets we play in, not only do we have aspirations, we think in certain areas we've 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 won. In our RF technology, in our in our SOI technology, in fully depleted、uh, SOI, we are market leaders in that. 相对于台积电、亚利桑那厂因为人力问题延后量产，长期深耕美国本土晶片制造的格罗邦德则是有一套自己的应对措施。Do we have a skilled labor gap here in the U.S. that needs to be addressed? I think in general, we graduate. Enough engineers. We just have to make sure those engineers want to take engineering jobs. We've stood up the first apprenticeship program that's registered in the United States to go create that workforce in our ecosystem around our two fabs in Vermont and, and, and New York. 在美国，打造半导体成本确实比其他国家都还要高。格罗邦德也是仰赖政府补助，纽约州政府就提供二十亿的资金设厂，而且厂区还善用纽约的天然资源，一天消耗四百万加仑的用水，还有二十亿瓦的电力都能游刃有余。So upstate New York is a very good place for access to high quality. And abundant water. Its cost power is in the U.S. A lot of our power in upstate New York, where this facility is at, comes from hydroelectric. So it's a, it's a greener power. In both Europe and Singapore, much of that power comes off of natural gas. 但专家认为，格罗邦德能在建设还有营运成本居高不下的美国扩建厂区，其实跟打造的晶片类型很有关系。格罗邦德在二零一八年就宣布停止制造七纳米以下的晶片，就能减少相当多的设备还有技术成本。Equipment does cost less. They don't have to build hundred billion dollar campuses. Over ten years, like Samsung, Intel, and TSMC. 尽管放弃制造先进晶片，但日常生活中随处可以看到的电子用品，还是少不了格罗邦德旗下的产品。Look around, look at every electronic device in your house, and I would bet you money that every one of those devices has at least one Global Foundries chip in it. I think that the Global Foundries does have some technologies that the TSMC doesn't have. I think silicon-on insulator is a huge differentiator when it comes to power, and TSMC doesn't use that. 美国制造的特殊身份有助于将国家安全风险降到最低。今年六月，军火制造商洛克希德马丁就宣布与格罗邦德携手合作，确保军事系统的晶片供应，还与五角大厦签下三十一亿美元的合约。All the RF goodies,、uh, all of the power management goodies, silicon photonics. The defense industry wants an assured supply of those. To be able to build weapon systems, defense systems. 通用汽车也在经历车用晶片短缺之后，宣布与格罗邦德独家合作，要确保晶片供应链的稳定。汽车相关半导体也成为格罗邦德这几年的主要发展项目。We did under a hundred million dollars of automotive revenue in 2022. That grew to almost 375 million dollars, and this year we'll do. A billion dollars of revenue. 格罗邦德在 AI 浪潮当中没有缺席，在背后支持数据中心等大量晶片应用。但格罗邦德最大的优势恐怕就是避开台海敏感地区。耗资四十亿在新加坡打造的新厂就准备正式启用，接下来在法国还有德国投资也将陆续到位。靠着美中晶片大战，将更加站稳脚步。TVA 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网。A P P。